what is going on guys today i am going to the miami experience crypto conference in the intercontinental downtown miami so i'm on my way there last night was the first night it was opening night they had a, a gala uh, with a bunch of nfts art and uh, a lot of other cool stuff um, so we're going to continue that today. Today's day one of the workshop. So there's going to be a workshop. It's going to be a bunch of speakers um, and a lot of different stuff. So it's going to be a, a good time. Um, so I'm going to try to see how much of it I can capture since I'm not speaking today. Today I'm just chilling. I'm going to try to capture as much as possible for you guys so that you guys can experience it as well. I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, guys. So I am now walking over to the intercontinental miami where um, the event is it's super hot it's a pretty long walk so i will see you guys when i get there What's going on, man? I'm here with BitBoy himself, the man, yeah. the myth, the legend. Oh, I thought it was a picture. I was smiling. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I knew it was a video. Yeah, man. How you doing? <laughs> How you feeling today? Good, man. Getting ready to go talk about some DeFi stuff and, uh, you know, making it happen. Just like getting out here, seeing real humans. It's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Such a big difference. But this man right here is a man I'm about. I'm excited to watch him. I saw that I was in the same exact conference as him and I'm doing a workshop as well. So I'm like, yeah. all right, I must be on the right path. Well, you're on a path. That's <laughs> hey, appreciate you, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Appreciate everybody who, uh, you know, does what you do. You know, yeah. you're out there grinding, making content. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. Help build the space. Yeah, man. So we're, we're out here. We're out here. Everybody, if you don't follow him yet, make sure to follow him. BitBoy Crypto on YouTube and Instagram. Yep, we out you. We're watching BitBoy speak right now. The bicycle, which 10 years ago was a curiosity, is now a necessity. Yeah, I was just wondering the other day, when did bicycles been invented? I guess it was 1985. Uh, 10 years from now, you will be able to buy a horseless vehicle for what you would pay today for a wagon and a pair of horses. The money spent in the keep of the horses will be saved and the danger to life will be much reduced. It is only a question of a short time when the carriages and trucks of every large city will be run by motors. The expense of keeping and feeding horses in a great city like New York is very heavy and all this will be done away with. You must remember that every invention of this kind, which is made, adds to the general wealth by introducing a new system of greater economy of force. A great invention which facilitates commerce enriches a country just as much as the discovery of vast ports of gold. This was sent to a banker, actually, if I want to clear, I didn't want to talk about that. But the banker read this and he threw it away and he said, that sounds like just another crazy person talking. Imagine, right? Like, he saw what was coming. Why? Because it was so obvious, right? Like, it was so obvious. I'm here with Paul. What up, what up? One of the followers, man. What's going on, man? Man, we vibing. We from LA. We Miami people out here doing this whole crypto. Trying to see the next move for everybody out here. Yes, sir. He's, he's out here from LA, man. If you guys aren't out here, you guys aren't trying, man. Exactly. You got to take your knowledge to the next level. Hey, great meeting you, my brother. All right, we got the CTO of Safe Moon here because Safe Moon are real people. You guys are real people. Yeah, we're I'm, I'm real people. So, so I was telling these guys, um, I get questions all the time. Okay. Uh, I, on on Instagram, I have, a, I have a Bitcoin channel, and we get we get questions all the time on Safe Moon. So, and I'm always like, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't have the answers for them. So. More or less in general, what's what's next for Safe Moon? What's next for you guys? And uh, you know, okay. what's the plans for the future? So we announced our exchange. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our wallet incoming. We're reducing the friction to get in. Okay. 
We've got more exchanges coming. Um, I mean, that's that's our major focus right now. Before any real cases can come out, we have to re reduce the, the friction and the latency. Right. So I'm, I'm super stoked that we have a million users and they're willing to go through those kind of steps to get it. And it's yeah. so hard. Yeah. But they're learning so much about DeFi yeah. along the way. Yes. I've right? seen all these posts now on... Um, that they have like instructions on how to get seen, like do this, do that, do that, and yeah. it's like so many steps. It's a, it's a total community effort. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're making the decisions for us, and we're taking that to the next level. So like, awesome. so like this is our direction, okay, we're going there. We're making a hybrid CDX, DDX, and it's going to be amazing. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So you guys heard it here, guys. Safe Moon is going to continue going to the moon, and you already know. What's up, guys? I'm here with... Safe Moon, as you guys can see, they got their teams. Well, oh, I just got me a, a t-shirt, real cool t-shirt. Let me show it. Let me show it on her. Cool little shirt right there for all my Safe Moon fans. So right now there is a debate going on: Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin SV. They're going all out. That would be really dumb. Like. BTC has taken the marketing, the marketing, you know, breath of the space, and everybody thinks of Bitcoin, and they think of BTC. So yeah, it would be really dumb to want the Lightning Network to, 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 to fail. We all want it to succeed, man. Okay, we all really want it to succeed. And, and, and you know, if we wanted to talk about Lightning Network specifically, there's a lot of great tech. You know, AMP allows you to split up your payments, so it's not just. For, uh, being reliant on the large liquidity providers, you can actually split your payment into even 100 pieces if you want, so that even the little guys get a piece. But because it's open, you know, if there's a, a node that's getting too much of the liquidity, he's of course going to raise his fees, and you have to manage that node. And so it's going to give an arbitrage opportunity for other smaller nodes to sit there and kind of build their own roads and charge their own lower fees. And that open competition has resulted so far in you know almost free network right now to use. And I can see that. I, I think. I think. Look. I think the Lightning Network is great. But closing statements because we gotta move on. on. Closing statements. I think Bitcoin BTC really need to look into open transactions, guys. This, Chris Odom was just here, and what he created was an incredible system. And I really think I, I, I'm here. To, I really want to champion what he did because he's an unsung hero, and that is an awesome second layer solution that BTC could use. But no one's really looking into it right now. And I don't know why, to be honest. Yeah, I think that I'm open-minded, right? I'm not I'm not a maximalist. I'm for whatever is the best cryptocurrency to do the job of creating more freedom for humanity, and that is what's most important to me. I will say, I will make one comment though. I wanted to admit, our our good what's your name, Raphael? <laughs> Raphael had mentioned had made a critique about uh, uh, cash fusion not being uh, or not being as anonymous as I said, and it actually is anonymous in, in the way that it mixes inputs and outputs is just like a mixer and I am certified in chain analysis both in reactor and in KYT and I know for a fact that you can't trace uh, cash fusion within Bitcoin Cash. So I mean the reason I'm here at this debate because in my opinion it's already over. 99% of the hash is Bitcoin. These projects you know, they forked a long time ago. They used to say, oh, we'll follow the market, the market's going to decide. Well, the market has decided. It's four years later now. Nobody really uses it. You can look at the volume. It's, it's nothing. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. If you like Bitcoin, you buy BTC. Uh, that said, I mean, I'm here because when I wasn't here, I was afraid who it would be. So I had to come up here you know, and make the case, and I'm you know, happy to answer any questions. And I do have to say that, uh, you know, personally, like from an investment perspective, I do think that all of these coins really do have their merits. But BTC is the only one that has like BNY Mellon, um, you know, using them. And they're the only ones that have these like big banks like PayPal and stuff adopting Bitcoin. They're the only ones that have a futures exchange coming about them. That doesn't mean that they're their best. It just means they're the only ones that have institutional adoption at this point. So that's just a point to make. Now, I would go and I would say, hey, who won? Chow, crowd, cheer. But I'm not going to do that because it is important for each of you to decide what features you like and which chain you want to operate on. It is the free market, it is choice. Nobody is forcing you to use the dollar, okay? I mean, people force you to use the dollar, but nobody is forcing you to use any one of these chains. So give it up for our panelists, guys.
Alrighty guys, that's pretty much a wrap for day one of the crypto experience guys here down in uh, Miami. Tomorrow will be day two. We did a lot of stuff today. Tomorrow I have my workshop going on, so we'll cover that in tomorrow's video. We'll see what happens from there. You know, today we met a lot of cool people. We'll see who we meet tomorrow. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Do not forget guys to subscribe, smash that like button and turn on those notification bells as you guys already know. As always guys, peace and love.